Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam. I want to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. Today I want to take a question about tips on what you can do if you have dark circles under your eyes. I get this question a lot, so I want to go through some of the steps that I take and what are the causes and what are some of the remedies. Now, there is a genetic component to dark circles. So if you fit in under that category, listen closely. There are also many other reasons why we develop dark circles under the eyes. So I'm going to go through my checklist. Number one is the state of your sinus health. You know... I see more and more people with congested sinuses, and this represents a blockage or a reduced flow in our lymphatic health. And remember, the sinuses go all around the eyes, and if there's congestion, it's the venous system of our circulation, and the veins are blue. This creates a a backflow of blood. Now, one of the remedies is to use a neti pod daily. And I usually fill it up with maybe halfway with uh, some warm water. And I'll put a drop of tea tree oil or a drop of eucalyptus oil. And I'll do nasal rinses with the neti pod. Some other things that I might use would be colostrum. This actually helps correct, connect us to the immune system, especially if we have allergies. And I'm going to bookmark allergies. I'm going to come back to that. So sinus congestion is number one. And by the way, if you start getting some congestion or runny nose, there's a tea out there called Mormon, M-O-R-M-O-N-T, which is a weak version of ephedra. And while ephedra was taken off the market because it can increase our adrenaline, the risk is so small and the benefits are so high. If you drink this Mormon tea, it actually can help reduce sinus congestion, and improve lung function. So that's something to note there. Now, let's talk diet. If you're one of those people that combines meat with sugar, let's say a burger with a bun on a bun or fries and a Coke, this actually can create some pretty serious sinus congestion. So changing your diet is another thing. Also dairy products. You know, I talk a lot about dairy creating more mucus, more congestion, and this can also clog up your respiratory system. Okay, I did another podcast on liver, liver function. And the liver is the main organ or one of the main organs for detoxification. So if there's both congestion or just stress on the liver, one of the best remedies is using milk thistle. In fact, milk thistle can help repair liver damage. You can also take small amounts of colostrum or probiotics, 
But if you're going to do this type of remedy, colostrum or probiotics, start slow. Go easy. Because this is going to trigger a detoxification reaction. It's going to start triggering more immune health. But you have to start slowly. Another reason why we develop dark circles under the eyes can be, you guessed it, adrenal fatigue. And when we are under chronic stress, we have more cortisol cortisol flowing in the bloodstream. This creates anxiety, of course, and it also affects our sleep. So getting your adrenals in balance is really important. Getting out in nature every day, taking walks, getting some natural sunlight, increasing vitamin D, so getting sunlight, more, more natural light on a daily basis. Because the adrenal fatigue goes hand in hand with being able to improve our sleep. In fact, if we can improve our sleep, many times those dark circles begin to fade away. Another thing to take a look at is foods that contain potassium. If there's an imbalance in our sodium potassium level, remember sodium's involved in fluid retention, then this also can be one of the causes of dark circles under the eyes. And then the last one I want to talk about is allergies. So if you suffer chronic allergies, you have a higher risk of getting dark circles under your eyes. Some simple things that you can do would be vitamin C, increasing that, increasing colostrum, boosting your intestinal health, so dietary absorption, maybe working in the area of functional medicine where you're improving dietary absorption and you're reducing inflammation, oxidative stress, and it just goes on and on. So the lining of the skin under the eyes is very thin. And when you get this venous backup, it, the, ve- the veins are blue, you start to get these dark circles under your eyes. So if you plug into any of these things, if they, you know, whatever jumps out at you, that's the place I would start. Again, many of these things can also affect your eyesight. They can cause oxidative stress and inflammation from the front of the eye, the eyelids, dry eye, things like cataracts, even retina, retinopathies, retina issues. So it's across the board. We know that everything is interrelated and interconnected. So when you have dark circles under your eyes, it's a signal to start looking at these different aspects and seeing if you can make some headway. So I wish you the best of luck. I want to thank you for the question. And everybody, that's our show for today. Until next time, take care. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.